And now, from Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world, it's The Bling Johnson Show. Let's get famous. Yeah. I wanna be famous. The house band is Lucas Cook and the collection. Security provided by Bubba Incorporated. And now, from the horny toe bar and grill in Craigville, Gap, Texas, a man who thought the only time he'd ever see a season three was while watching Netflix. Maling Johnson! Man, we're back for season three on the Bling Johnson Show. Tres. Yeah, that's right, you're pretty good at Spanish. Yeah. Welcome to the world famous Horny Toad Bar and Grill here in Cranfields Gap, Texas. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Man, I am thrilled to be here, not just for a third season, but this venue is really special to a lot of us. We're going to tell you why in a second. But now, you might not think that Cranfields Gap uh, is a rockin' city, but this place rocks even more than Las Vegas, and uh, there's a little bit more of a story behind that, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, you know, like, you, you look at the population size, and you wouldn't think that this town rocks like it does, but in yeah. fact, like, half the population actually got taken to Las Vegas by the city of Las Vegas, flew them all out there, spent a ton of money, put the put the town in magazines and, and in national yeah. press, and just blew it up, and Cramples Gap is on the map, baby. It was awesome, man. Las Vegas, the city of Las Vegas spent like $2 million to fly the whole town. Something like that. It, it was great. It was great. We're really happy to be here. <laughs> we're, we're, I wish you could see. We got cue card girls over here, and they're holding up signs at all sorts of crazy times. Now, one, one of the reasons that we're here in Cranfield's Gap is the Horny Toad Bar and Grill where we're at right now. Yeah, absolutely, man. This place is just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. It, it actually means a lot to, to a lot of people for a lot of reasons, and we're going to bring out the owners. Many of you know them that, that have been following our show. Sandy and Owen Carlson. Come on out. Give it up for Sandy and Owen, everybody. Now, first of all, that's a really nice hat you got going. I like that, yeah. I yeah. got a special hat. Hey, thank you very much for having us out today. Well, we appreciate you guys. We really appreciate you guys being here. Well, we're all happy to be here. Now, you guys not only own the Horny Toad here, you, you took us on a tour of the city today, and you pretty much own half the town, too, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, we spent some time together talking about not only why we came here, but Nikki Covers the Cold is, is an organization that you all started on behalf of your daughter, uh, and there's a lot going on there. So let's throw it to the clip of us spending some time together talking about what's been going on. All right, uh, sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> Shining, the sky is blue. Buds are chopping, I'm thinking of you, my friend. You should be here, and ain't it a shame? On Wednesday night, they'll be singing at hills. The girls will dance, and the beer will flow, but it won't be the same. The same without you. So thanks a lot for having us all out. You guys hosted, what, well, there's probably 30 of us out here this weekend? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> you guys did a lot of cooking, too. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Y'all all did we... lots of eating. Well, <laughs> we'll keep coming back and keep eating if you keep cooking. I mean, that's one thing about our friends, uh, we can eat. But we really appreciate you guys having us out this weekend. And I think what I want a lot of people to know is we didn't just come here just for the TV show or even just for the Horny Toad. There's a lot more behind the meaning of why I got to know you guys and why so many of the people that came out came out to support you and your family. Um, you know, we know a few years ago uh, your daughter passed away and one of her dreams was to keep the, the uh, 
people that were homeless in Austin warm, and then you guys started Nikki Covers the Cold. Can you tell us about that? Well, um, as people say, she planted a seed at Thanksgiving 09 and uh, came home and said, Mom, will you save your blankets? Uh, I want to keep them in my car and give them to the homeless. And so, okay, well, things kind of, you know, Christmas and everything kind of take place. And then um, lost her in March. And now, it was actually Misty and Nikki, her, or Miss, Nikki, Misty and Jamie, her sisters, that um, came up with us doing our first Nikki DeMaio at the Toad. And you, of course, know a little bit about Nikki DeMaio. It's a pretty awesome deal. And last Thanksgiving, I know a bunch of us came out and spent time with you guys to actually distribute a lot of those clothes. And uh, that, what a cool way to spend the Thanksgiving. I think so many people, you know, the football and the, the whole, you know, history of Thanksgiving itself, but giving back to other people and doing it through you guys, which are doing something, you know, basically to keep the memory of your daughter alive. It was really special. We're going to do it again this year. And uh, where can people donate clothing? Like if they're watching on TV or online right now, how can people get warm adult clothes to you guys for distribution? Well, you can always bring them to the toad. And I guess, you know, eventually what we need to do is like have drop off sites in different cities. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do for Austin. If you're watching and you're in the Austin area, if you go to blingjohnson.com, you're going to see an area on there for Nikki Covers the Cold. And we're going to make our shop, Let's Get Famous Customs, a permanent drop location. So if anybody's in Austin and they need to drop off clothes, they can hit our website. All the information's there. We could set up a time to meet or, or drop off and uh, we'll get those clothes to you guys. And that'll help maybe give a, you know, another Austin location to kind of get those clothes. And uh, we're going to be there on Thanksgiving this year and uh, we're going to do the same thing we did last year. But thanks so much for being a part of our life and for having us all out this weekend. You bet. Yeah, I was always glad to have people from big city come to the little town of Cramples Gap. That's right. Well, the good news is at least we didn't get lost on a one road street like, uh, like Lucas Cook did, huh? We didn't have to push you out of the mud this time. I mean, the guy comes here, there's like two streets in the whole town. He gets lost here and then writes a song about it. Half a mile from the toad, he gets lost. That's right. We love you guys and thanks for having us out. Thanks, man. Man, I love the city of Cranfield's Gap. Me too, man. I feel like I'm riding a gravy train on biscuit wheels. <laughs> what, is, what does that even mean? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I like it. it. Online. <laughs> Google, man. It's saving this show. You know what I'm saying? So when we come back after this commercial break, uh, we're going to take you out to some uh, an off-road adventure here in Texas that had more than its share of mudding, if you know what I mean. M-U-D-D. -D. <laughs> That's right. And not... <laughs> I don't even, I'm not sure what that means. So we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> If you love Austin, then there's a good chance you've heard of Uncle Billy's Brew and Q. With locations on Barton Springs Road in South Austin and next to the Oasis on Lake Travis, Uncle Billy's has some of the best barbecue in Texas and brews their own beer on site. The Rooftop, Uncle Billy's concert venue at Lake Travis, has hosted legendary Texas musicians like Rod Williams, Bob Snyder, and even ZZ Top's Billy Gibbons. From the relaxing outdoor patio at Barton Springs to the scenic sunset views high above Lake Travis, isn't it time you made it out to Uncle Billy's? Give me 
Columbia, make a lover on a dose, Eckies, honey, wise and stone, rolling bush, shine or bark. Yeah, liquor might be quicker, but I ain't in no rush. I got a hundred dollar bill and all night to kill, ain't nothing gonna worry me much. I'm just happy to be here. All I wanna do is get the feeling right. I'm just happy to be here. And if you don't mind, it just might be all night. I'd say we're in good company. How about you? I'm just happy to be here. All I want to do is get to feeling right. I'm just happy to be here. And if you don't mind, it just might be here all night. Bad news, we got Cameron stuck first, then he came in, then we got him stuck, so now we got it. Yeah, I had to pull that guy out of the mud. Yeah, liquor might be quicker, but I ain't in no rush. I got a hundred dollar bill and all night to kill. Ain't nothing gonna worry me much. I'm just happy to be here. All I wanna do is get the feeling right. You just brushed your hair. <laughs> you can do it! Try it again! Alright, so here we are from an undisclosed location, and there are some of us that know exactly why we're saying that. We had a great time. Everybody have fun? Yeah! yeah. Alright, thanks for watching this segment. We are excited about season three, so we'll see you next week, and let's get it! Yeah, what they said. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. Welcome to episode three of Bling and Lucas Live. We're here at the world headquarters of LucasCookMusic.com. Are you excited again? Dude, I'm on the edge of my table. I'm here, I'm here, here on the edge of your night table. She, uh, you know, she actually, um, we got introduced on Instagram. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> For real. Fascinating. She, I, I, Instagram. <laughs> you're, Can you're we not talk all about it right now? We're not going to talk all about it because it's going to be a short conversation because you're not on it. But a lot of people are on Instagram. What the hell is What? I'm not into it. Because you haven't signed on. You even have an account? I got the salt and pop. I'm good. You got the salt. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you doing all right today? Mm-hmm.
If I got here, you seem like things were a little bit rough. I've had a long day. Did you have a rough day? Mm -hmm. how, can, how can I make that better for you? Just keep talking to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> why do you have Mexican, why do you have a Mexican Yacarenas in your apartment, Lucas? That is not, look. That's our ranch hand. Yes. We brought him in for the evening. You never know if a horse is gonna start running wild. Well, there's there's plenty of ranching that needs to be done at Lucas Cook, you know, world. Meeting. There's a lot. I mean, if you've seen the backyard here, it's gigantic. We got cows, you got, you got chickens. It's pretty big back there. Um, so, can we do more farm animals? No, please don't. I mean, we're only at 16 viewers as it is. First time I met your mom, this guy my mom was scared of you. Well, I, I think you were mad at me too. Well, because you scared my mom. Well, tell. So what happened? Just I'll let you tell. I'm not mad. That. I don't mean to sound mad about it. I'm You're still. Well, if, if the truth be told, we're good friends now. But Absolutely. that night, it was off to a rough start. Well, you know what? To be honest with you. Oh, hold on, hold on, make sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, okay. Should I lick it or? So it's like a Twitter feed or a Facebook update, but it's just but a you picture. You can put a caption. Yeah, you can put a caption. How long? How many? 160. Uh, I don't even know if there's a character limit. There might be. Twitter's 160, right? 140. 140. It should up at the 160. I think it should go better, maybe. <laughs> you think Twitter's having a hard time growing right I now? I think they're losing popularity. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, that and Facebook, I think. It's really? Only a matter of time before they're both just like MySpace. You're, you're probably right. So what uh, what statistical data are you basing that on? Well, Zuckerberg and I actually... Zuckerberg! <laughs> the other day. Please call us and say hello. We have 14 minutes left. Please. Now. Please. What are you doing? I'm so lonely. Please call us and say hello. Please. <laughs> Pablo, honey. Please come home to Florida. Pablo? Please. <laughs> Ashley Voda. So Ashley Voda has joined the chat. What all these awesome, funny men in one room? Jealous. You don't have to be jealous. You should be mad at yourself because you had every chance to be here, every opportunity to be here. Be jealous of the you that didn't get here. <laughs> You stream has been so. running Spanish That's commercials. That's hilarious because Lucas probably they picked up some. They picked up his IP address. They've <laughs> <laughs> identified where he's at. I didn't know. I think it's little. <laughs> it's like Ian gave birth to him on it. Here, turn around, and look at Ian. <laughs> turn around, and look at him. <laughs> now, when we come back, we are gonna treat you to Lucas Cook and the expanded collection. Uh, they are going to rock the dirt off this tin roof so hard it's going to be something you're going to want to write home about, even if you live at home with your mom. You could send a note in it, a little thank you note or something. Just Send your mom an email. Mom, thanks for birthing me so I could get to live and see Lucas Cook. And still let me live here when I'm 46 and I'm in the basement. Wayne Johnson show. <laughs> That's right. 46? I'm not 46. Oh, okay. Okay. So stick around. We'll be right back with Lucas Cook at the collection. Limited mobility doesn't mean limited options. Providing solutions for life, the dealership of choice is Austin Mobility Solutions. We offer the largest inventory of new and pre-owned Honda, Chrysler, and Dodge Mobility vans in Central Texas. Industry-leading mobility solutions from Bruno, Gosici, and we're the number one VMI dealer in the U.S. For sales and 24-hour service, visit Austin Mobility Solutions at I-35 exit 248 in Pflugerville or austinmobility.com. I have a problem with my air conditioner and I'm hoping you can help me. Hi, I'm Kevin Moody with KMAC. Don't worry about this. I see it all the time. I'm gonna need some bigger tools. tell the story. I'm the only guy. And I, I might be a little ashamed of that, but, but you know. What can I say? I was hanging out at the Horny Toe Bar and Grill, and I was feeling
feeling good, you know. And I went down the road and I was unsure of myself and I got lost. this evening, come on. So picture it. My car is stuck in a ditch of water right down here on Main Street. It's one o'clock in the morning. I don't know where the heck I am. Afraid it might get told or left out in the cold. He ran as fast as his broken leg could take. Came right busting friends and run this Boy, ain't life a bitch 
Lucas Cook in the collection, everybody! Man, what a great way to start season three of the Blaine Johnson Show. Thank you all for being here live. Thank you for watching on TV. Keep watching every week. we got a huge season lined up. So here we go. Let's get famous! Let's get famous. I want to be famous. Everybody want to be famous. Let's get famous. I want to be famous. Everybody want to be famous. Let's get famous. I want to be famous. Be famous, let's get famous. I wanna be famous. Everybody wanna be famous. Let's get famous. I wanna be a star. I want the big house with the trick. Yes, hello. I'm calling to speak to an order specialist, please. Pardon me? I'm calling to speak to an order specialist, please. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I would like to know do I have a two pizza special today? I need two large pizzas. Large Do you have a special or, or coupon? Uh, we have the two, 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 two large, two coffees, and a two-liter drink for twenty ninety nine. Two large pizzas. And do you have a two medium? Two, I just want two pizzas. I do not need soda. Okay. Do you have a special that is two pizzas? That is economical. We have a uh, a one large, one coffee. Uh, well, that's just for the, you want to deliver, right? Yes, delivery, please. Because yeah, I cannot drive. Okay. Because I cannot drive. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking to see what kind of coupon <laughs> offers you have this evening. I have, uh... Okay, that sounds good. So I'll have a large three topping for twelve ninety nine. Make it pepperoni, jalapeno, and Italian sausage on original you crust. Want it you want it delivered? Yes, delivered, please. And Lucas Cook. Salt Park Drive, yeah, number three hundred. I want a, uh, the large uh, jalapeno, uh, pepperoni, uh, and Italian, Italian, Italian sausage and jalapeno. Jalapeno, yeah. That's what you want? Yeah, that, that one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I want to get some chicken wings. Okay. Okay, uh, that'll be all for you? That's it, yep. Just the pizza and the wings. Cool. Thanks very much. Have a great night. Okay, excellent. Th thanks a lot. Have a great night. Okay. Bye. Oh my. You feel better, Lucas? Yeah.